Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make my red, white, and blueberry shortcakes. Not only are these fun treats patriotic, they're also super tasty. We're gonna start by making our shortcakes. I have the oven preheating to 400 degrees, and then we're gonna make our batter right here in the food processor. I'm gonna pour in two cups of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. Put the lid on real quick and just pulse this for a second. A couple pulses is all it takes to combine. Next, we can add in our butter. If you're not using a food processor, you'd use a pastry cutter to cut this in, but let me tell you, the food processor makes it so much easier. So I have four tablespoons of butter that I've just sliced up into a tablespoon each. Kind of makes it easier for the food processor. Put the lid on and blend this until it looks like cornmeal. I don't know what I'd do without my food processor because this is so much easier than using a pastry cutter. Once it looks like cornmeal or sand, we can add in our wet ingredients. I have half a cup of milk. Just pour that in. And then a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. Put the lid on and blend this until it's a dough. This part goes really fast too. It's a pretty wet dough. Next, I have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I'm gonna just take my spoon, take scoops of this, and plop it right onto the baking sheet. You wanna make about 12 little biscuits. Once you have all 12 biscuits in place, bake them in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes until the tops are just kissed with brown. While the shortcakes are in the oven, we'll go ahead and prep the rest of our ingredients. I have about a pound of sliced strawberries here in one bowl and 12 ounces of blueberries here in another bowl. I'm keeping mine separate so I can play with the colors and do layers of red, white, and blue, but you can just combine them all together if you want, if that's easier for you. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle in a quarter cup of sugar. And since I divided it, I have to be careful, and make it sort of even. This is very forgiving though, so it's okay. And then I'm gonna pour in the juice of one lemon. Once again, I have to divide it up. And then the zest of one lemon too. Then just stir these together. The lemon juice and lemon zest are the key to this recipe. It brings out this vibrant flavor that just makes this the treat of the summer. Set these aside to marinate in their own juices and we're gonna make some freshly whipped cream. Pour one and three quarters cup of heavy whipping cream into the bowl of the stand mixer. And then sprinkle in two tablespoons of sugar. And I'll let this whip, gradually increasing the speed until stiff peaks form. Once you have those beautiful stiff peaks, you'll wanna put this in the fridge until you're ready to serve. Now let's check on those shortcakes. All right, they're perfect. You can see just little spots of brown forming. You know they're done. Be sure to let the biscuits cool completely before you assemble your dessert. Now you can serve these up however you want it with just a biscuit and some berries and whipped cream, but I think it's really fun to serve them in mason jars. I hope you enjoyed these red, white, and blueberry shortcakes. Not only are they patriotic, they also taste really good. I seriously can't get enough of them. You can find the full written recipe in the video description as well as a link to the printable recipe. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other great videos where you can find more than 100 restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.